Hello, I'm Richard O'Neill, the author of this book, A Different Kind of Freedom, A Romani Story. I'm going to read you from the blurb from the back of the book, first of all, and then I'll tell you a little bit about me and the reasons why I wrote the book. It says, football is the only thing I want to do. I think my heart will break if I can't do it. Elijah loves his traveling life. He loves tatting, camping next to the woods and the Romani stories that his family tell around the fire. But when he starts school, he discovers football. Soon enough, he has only one desire to become a professional player. The only thing is football is a game for Goja people, not Romani. While Elijah is completely in love with football, playing it feels like he's betraying his family. This book is set in Edwardian times, so a long, long time ago, around about 100 years ago. And it's very, very similar to the time when my grandfather was alive. So by the time that I came along, then my family weren't living in the old fashioned horse drawn wagons. We were living in fairly modern caravans that traveled around just the same. So when I say Romani, that means the nomadic Romani gypsy people of England. And I don't mind the word gypsy. Some people don't use the word gypsy, but I don't mind the word gypsy. There's a bit of history to it is that it comes from the word Egyptian. Um, because some people thought when we came to England about 500 years ago, we were from Egypt, we were Egyptians. And even Shakespeare, then he had written in some of his plays that we were Egyptian, and then we became Gypsy in, in some of those plays, a play called As You Like It. So this book really charts the progress, the desires, all of the things that this character Elijah wants to do. Now, I also love football and, and when I grew up in the northeast of England then that was a major, major sport and, and it still is of course. And, and I just got hooked on football and I became pretty good at it. And my story I suppose in a way mirrors Elijah's. My family weren't really into football so I had to try even harder. And there are things in the book that I think that lots and lots of people will identify with, that fact of being an outsider, um, the fact that you're looking to be included in things, whether that's in school or whether that's outside of school. So the thing about Elijah, the, the character is, he, he really, really wants to fit in and he discovers football and then he discovers that he's pretty good at it. And he also realizes then some inclusion, he gets included in things because he's quite good at football. And then, of course, when you get good at something, you want to get even better at it and you want to pursue it and you want to go further and further. And that's when he comes into conflict with his family because his family, they really don't want him to play football. They think it's a waste of time. They think it's not a, a Romani uh, sport. Then he should be doing something else with his time. So that's, that's his challenge. That's his battle. Now, one of the things that I would like you to do um, when you've read this book or you're thinking of getting this book in your school is that I would like you to set you a little writing challenge, really. And writing a book, it takes quite a long time. There's about 35,000 words in here, so I'm not expecting you to do 35,000 words. But what I would like you to do is to imagine that there is, or well, there is something, isn't there, I think, for most of us that we really like that perhaps other people do. For example, perhaps um, I'm thinking of one from my own wife. My grandson loves video games. Mm, I can kind of take them or leave them, but I do play video games with him sometimes. So is there something that you really, really like? Whether it's a, a pastime, it could be a favorite food, it could be a sport, whatever it is, is there something that you really, really like? And there are other people that you know who really can sort of take it or leave it or don't like it at all. Do you think you could write a really, really persuasive a little letter, a paragraph, something that you could you could really persuade the other person to see your point of view. And maybe they, they might even start to like the thing that you like. So that would be my challenge to you. And then I really, really hope that you get to read this book and you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoy writing it. So this is Richard O'Neill for now saying goodbye. Goodbye.